As deep concrete includes the design of concrete columns, concrete beams, concrete or masonry bearing walls, and now a new module has been added to the package. It's for the design of one-way slabs. If we click on this button, a new calculation will be created. I have created an example already. Let's double click. And this is the template for a one-way slab design in as deep concrete. In the geometry tab, in the left pane, you enter all the geometric information, such as the slab thickness. Then here you define the number of spans and the number of supports. You can model up to five spans and two cantilevers. Here you define the span lengths. Here I have defined three spans, eight feet, 10 feet, and eight feet. Graphically, you can see it here. So this is your one-way slab, three spans. Here you can define the type of support, either pin or fix at the ends. And this is the dimension of the support in the direction of the span, 12 inches. Let's go to the material tab. Here you enter the material properties for both concrete and the reinforcing steel. Here you enter the concrete strength and the compression strain, 003 per ACI, and the concrete density. Here you specify the different stress-strain relationship, either Hognestad or Whitney. And here in the steel, you specify either elastoplastic or strain hardening. If we go to the loads tab, here you enter the loads on the one-way slab. At the top of the page, you specify either a single set of pre-combined loads, so loads that are coming from another software, or you can specify a set of nominal load cases and the program will combine them internally. If you specify the second one, then you can see here the load cases, dead life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. The program accepts uniform, variable, concentrated loads, or concentrated moments. If you specify either the program will consider the cell weight or not. In this case, I'm specifying a uniform load, dead, 30 PSF, in addition to the cell weight, and a live load with 60 PSF. So the goal is to determine the rebars that are acceptable for this one-way slab design. If we go to the reinforcement tab, here you enter the reinforcement for the different spans. Here you select the segment that you are interested in. Here in the span number one, there are three spans. Let's work on the span number one. Typically the reinforcement in a one-way slab consists of a, a continuous uh, rebars at the bottom. If necessary, you can reinforce it with some center uh, rebars at the mid span at the bottom and some rebars at the top over the supports. So all these rebars can be specified in this page, the top rebars and the bottom rebars as well. In the transverse direction, some rebars are necessary for shrinkage and temperature. They can be specified here as well. With this button, you can copy the reinforcement of this span to the rest of the span. This simplifies the input of the information. In the right pane, if we go to the Araglance tab, this is a summary of the results with the most relevant information of the design. Here is the uh, bending design. Everything is passing according to these ratios. Shear design, the ratios are also under 1.0, it's so acceptable. Here in the reinforcement ratios, uh, there are some uh, code uh, limitations that are, the program is checking. For example, in this case, the maximum rebar spacing, uh, the ratio is 1.01. .01. So it's over by 1%. It's acceptable, so we'll, we'll leave it the way it is. Here in the deflections, the ratios are very, very small. If we go to the condensed tab, it shows a set of calculations uh, grouped by topic. For example, these are uh, the support reactions the bending moments and the bending strength, shear forces, the shear strength, and the deflections. So you can follow this information for a deeper checking. If we go to the detail tab, these are more detailed set of calculations, step by step, also with the references to the ACI code and exposed formulas. So this is uh, intended for a granular checking of the design 
Finally, we go to the graph tab. The program shows the shear diagram and the moment diagram. This can be sorted by load combination. For example, here, if we select dead and live, which is the, the controlling one, these are the values for the shear and uh, bending moment diagram. In addition, the program can show the uh, capacity in bending. If we click on this checkbox, and also the capacity in shear. So we can see here that the capacity is plenty for these loads. So the design is acceptable as it is. We go to the construction tab. The program shows slab elevation with all the rebars that we just specified. As you can see, it's very easy to design one-way slabs with this new module in as deep concrete. If you are interested in the software, please visit the website www.asdeepsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.